Hey there! Welcome into another Vodka Cooler Review. Yep, another cooler review. And there's vodka in this one, so Vodka Cooler Review! Alright, today's cooler we're looking at, folks, comes from Mott's Clamato Caesar lineup. This is a limited edition new flavor called Bacon Vodka. Now, I just want to tell you one thing before I get into more about it. There's a 1-800 number on here. I called it the one day. Um, the 1-800 number on this Clots Clam on this Mott's Clamato drink gives you an 800 number for Dr. Pepper Snapple. And, and then it's asking you if you want to listen to the message in English. And then it speaks in, like, Spanish, asking you if you want it in Spanish. Then with the English option, something about if this is an emergency, hang up now. That has to do with snap. Well, apparently, it actually says on the side "shake well" in the refrigerator after opening. Try to be, or maybe I have to really see that, folks. Shake well. So 5.5 percent. It has to do with tomatoes, bacon, hot peppers, stuff like that. Um, I'm aware that I don't love drinking tomato stuff, so I might not finish it. But limited edition, bacon caught my interest when I just saw a can saying bacon on the shelves. And then all the hot pepper stuff helped sell it to me too, you know. Let's see what we get. Might only drink enough for the review. I might smell it a tiny little bit here, but not too sure. Ooh. Well, that's strange smell. Smells... Kind of fishy, kind of spicy hot pepper smell. A little clam broth I can smell from it. The beginning smell when it was a little fishy with the hot pepper smell. The hot peppers made it smell all right. Now that I'm not really smelling them. It's going a little seafood smell and not a pleasant seafood smell. It was like a tomato soup kind of smell. I mean. I use ketchup, I eat tomatoes, I drink tomato or I've had tomato juice before, but drinking it, it's not really how I like tomatoes, but I thought I'd give this one a whirl. Hot peppers are showing up again. Ugh. Ugh, right folks? Unless this is unless this is your uh unless you're a Mott's Clamato fan. Ugh. It gets very, like, for the seafood parts in here, anchovies and the clam broth that's dried, folks. They're the only, like, seafood kind of stuff in here. And, yeah, that clam broth stinks. Ugh. It doesn't smell super terrible, but it sure as hell doesn't smell inviting. 
getting a lot of like the clam broth and maybe the anchovies. And then I'm getting a lot of like the hot pepper smells. And some of the spices and stuff. And a little tomato smell. So let's taste it now. The bacon vodka mozzarella clamato Caesar. Ew. Oh. Oh, that's fucking strange. Oh. Oh, I hope this. Uh, ah! Holy fuck, that is strange. Oh. It has a whole different uh, texture to the liquid than I'm used to with most beverages. Forgot about that. Jeez. Oh, God, that's. I don't know if I'm going to go beyond that sip, folks. I don't know. It's got a tomato taste. Um, in the background, so at some point somewhere, maybe in the background or middle, there's light little hints of some of the spice peppers, but lightly, they don't come out at me from that sip as extremely spicy, just very lightly, I think I'm getting some of it. Um, something in there might taste a bit like bacon, I guess. I got some like saltiness, not a lot of the tomato taste anymore maybe, but whatever's lingering and staying is fucked up. So I mean, maybe you have to drink a lot of it to get the super hardcore spices showing, otherwise just that sip, I can just taste them lightly and faint at some point. <coughs> Because there's just, just this one taste that's really dominating and staying. And it's like some sort of a spice or the tomato paste itself or something. And yeah. I guess you gotta drink a lot of it to really notice the spices and the bacon. But I don't think I can... <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna get through much of this shit. Is bringing it up to my mouth. I'm just smelling tomato soup, and that's smelling fine to me. But once I go and take the sip in, I get a little bit of like a burn from the spicy peppers, just a little bit. Cause I think I'm showing it. I think I'm tasting it more now than the first sip, even though that was a really small sip. Then there's like a bit of the tomato broth, maybe something that equals bacon. And then whatever else I'm tasting just lingers and lingers. You feel it in the throat and on the tongue a bit. And it's kind of gross, actually. So, um, I just randomly saw a can on the shelf with bacon, went over to see what it was. Some cases where the cans were for single selling at the time, some of the cases weren't touched yet, put the case on top. A lot of cans were gone, and there were still a lot of cans for selling from that box. But I saw the word bacon on it, wanted to see what it was, and I think it was the hot peppers in here that also helped sell it. But really, you gotta be into drinking tomato juice and all the weird stuff mixed with it that's in here, because it smells fine, but nothing great. And taste wise, Um, I don't know if it's the worst thing I'd put in my mouth, but it'll never be the best thing I put in my mouth. Very, very effing far from that. Kind of gross. Yeah. It's really weird. Really gross, in a sense. And this video's long enough. Bye. But it's kind of gross.